listeners, I am your host, Eric Assault of the Queen of Team. Please tune in every single Tuesday, 9 a.m. This is a whole hour of Santa Barbara teen athletes and all those people woo, woo, and businesses that support those teen athletes. Woo! 2016, I still like it. Crazy weather, yeah, though. <laughs> We've got a DP high school student a couple weeks back. I don't know what day it was when I went to go pick you up. It took me an hour there. No, 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 it doesn't matter. All right. You know, it's like hazard pay taking in exchange students, right? An hour there and an hour back. And the quad was, you know, filled with water. And in the house right now, we have Laura. Hi. How are you? You'll say your last name because I always mess it up. Akadia. Akadia. No, yeah, I, I no, did never, that good. Never mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Do you. How do you like the weather? I love the rain. Yeah. I actually really missed it. Serious. I was like, did yeah, you was, video it and send it back? Because for us, it's a cool thing. Yeah, I sent it back from my mom. I sent yeah? it back from my mom because she was like, no way, it's raining in California. And I was yeah. like, yes, mom, it's raining. Yeah, pouring. Yeah, yeah and kind then we of. come with the flooding. We had a couple of like mini quakes. It's all there. You all for you. Yeah, Laura? the mini quakes freaked her out. She was like, "Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, There's nothing get like broken." It's just how like, no, we're Mom, more worried okay. about the tsunami, you know, because it could just knock out the whole school. It's scary. <laughs> no, no, that no, would kill that. my dad. I mean, oh, he has heart problems. I don't no. want to mess with that. Oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> I know they're listening because I just sent him the link. Hi, Dad. So, yeah. talk to me. How do you like it? So. The rain or yeah school? everything school oh, okay. rain you know you're in your second mm-hmm. semester now so right? yeah uh, school is actually really good I just finished this huge essay that I had to write which I'm really happy about yeah because I like literally I started going to the YMCA with Dominique right so I was completely sore and then with that essay also my brain got sore basically no and yeah now I was, I'm starting AP psychology great so, so how many languages again do you know five. All right, we got it. I don't think I had to do this yet. Why don't we say well wishes in five different languages because okay. I just love it. Alors, je commence avec le français parce que il y a beaucoup de personnes que je connais en France et j'espère que tous vont avoir une bonne année et que vous avez beaucoup de chance dans cette année. Woo! That's just one language. Okay, I don't yeah. know what you said, but keep going. Um, Uh, hola a todos, espero que habéis tenido un uh, buen año el año pasado y que, ale, eh, que vas a tener un buen año el año que viene y que todos están bien y que vos os divertéis muchísimo. ¡Woo! I can't even woo! That was so woo! That was a high woo! Okay, what was that? That was Spanish. Spanish! I, I should know that one! <laughs> that But was the way you said it, it was, didn't sound like California Muchissimo. Spanish. Muchissimo. Yeah! Come oh, on, okay, that's well, Italian. Oh, whatever. Okay, what was the next one? I'm okay, still, that's I was still mesmerized from the first one. Okay, okay, what's the number let me three? Go with the one okay, go ahead, go ahead. Um, ciao a tutti in Italia, sono felice per questo nuovo anno, spero che state tutti bene, che vi siate divertiti durante il capodanno e che abbiate tanta fortuna quest'anno. Wow, I like that one too. I'm, I'm just trying to wear. I think I'm in like a, an international airport. I like it. You know, she knows like Swahili. You, I know. Say, uh, Eric Salter, Queen of Tea, lost your luggage. And uh, that was one. Okay, what else have we got? Um, oh, alles Gute fürs neue Jahr. Oh, I like that. Also, ich hoffe, dass ihr ein wunderschönes Jahr das letzte Jahr hattet und dass ihr auch ein, neu, ein wunderschönes Jahr dieses Jahr haben wird. Oh. Und um, dass es viel Gutes gibt in diesem Jahr und dass ihr viel Spaß habt daran. Nein, nah, I know everything you said. You're I know. Freaking me out. That's really cool. Okay, and now you got English. Oh, wait. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <You're> basically <laughs> summarizing that whole thing. Okay, so I hope that you all had a really wonderful year last year, and Aww. that you're going to have a wonderful year this year that's coming. Nice. And that you will have a lot of fun. That everyone will be fine, and that it will be full of new experiences. Woo! That's it, Laura. How blessed are we? I love this. You've made us go international overnight. I love no. this. All right, also in the house, we have my better half here. Are we going to say Dominique Hackett? Good Woo! morning. Yeah. <laughs> so for this new year, I hope everyone has taken on a wonderful personal practice like maybe meditation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reviewing an article in the Huffington Post about why meditation is really great for athletes. Okay. So, yeah. Well, uh, number one, it helps you focus. Number two, it helps you plan. And one of the things that I was really amazed about, it helps you not ruminate. 
Mm-hmm. You know how sometimes you, you have a bad day and, you, you know, you made a bad pitch or, you know, you made a bad play, and it keeps running over and over in your head and you're just kicking yourself for it? Well, apparently, meditation helps us with staying present in the moment, and people find that they ruminate less about all those bad events. Isn't that marinate? <laughs> the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Actually. Okay, so, I know you're doing this with Laura. Like, I know I've seen you, like, a couple of times. Anyway, I don't know, Laura, if you continue with the practice or just because Dominique is doing it in the living room you want to, you're lonely. I don't know. What is it? No, it's actually when I don't have anything to do is, okay, I, I like meditating because otherwise I'm just, like, staring at the ceiling. And it's actually really relaxing. Like, one, once I fell asleep, I literally fell asleep. I just... Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So you, you're with listening it. to your body. Your oh, body's yeah. saying, yo, sleep is what I need. So I, and for me, the biggest thing is it's stress release. So that means your immune system turns on, your digestion turns on, your game turns on. So meditation is just, yeah. Let's <laughs> Dr. D, you meditate? Uh, Have you no, I, no. No. And I have to. Meditation. I, I try, yeah. Uh. Um, if I can avoid the other pedestrians and the cars and the bicyclists <laughs> and funny. the skateboarders, That's it. Erica, and the texters, you over. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be in front of me. No, seriously. No. Have you ever tried it? Uh, honestly, I have. I have no long-term meditation practice. And oh. I know I'm here. As a matter of fact, I was watching a television program. They were interviewing this one guy and, and, and the reporter was asking him these questions about, does it cure this and this and this and this? And he went down this long laundry, laundry list. And after each one, the guy says, yes, 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 yes. Didn't matter what he mentioned. He said it would take care of it. It would cure it. Nice. All right, we have another. So I need to. Uh, we all voted already in the quiet room before she even got here, and I think she's going to say yes. But uh, uh, Kristen Standing, can you please raise your right hand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You promise to show up once a month and tell uh, the universe and Santa Barbara in particular everything a college. Uh, as a college owner of College Keystone, uh, everything that a college student needs to be prepared for and what they need to be knowing during the, that time frame. That's not exactly what. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I yeah? do. Okay. Go- <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't. I, I, had, I, I had notes. Go ahead. Did you help me? You had me at Kristen Snedden. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Preparing high school students for college. There you go. Okay. I, I write here. Applications, career planning, college college list development, personal statements and essays, gap and transfer guidance, financial aid and scholarship applications, tutoring for SAT, ACP, ACT, a boo boo, AP, <laughs> and all those things that I we don't have to do anymore. Subjects, exams, all levels of sciences and math. And then we have Laura right here, okay? And that's the little, this child wants to stay here. Okay, well, Laura, okay. how about um, she speaks language five languages. tutoring <laughs> that you could offer to people? Uh, you are amazing. She would like oh, to work I with with you all right yeah because she needs all kinds of stuff and that's why i just kind of like i'm going to throw her on your lap because you know <laughs> I, she needs she's got free time now okay how's oh, yeah. that would okay. that work that would work okay that cool and work. then and then you that. could help her get into like city college or whatever school you think maybe in santa barbara that would want somebody that speaks five languages fluently absolutely and Being she's got straight demand. a's in the whole thing yeah yeah you I think so? so oh yeah she I should think stay so. i think she should Woo! Stay. all right <laughs> yes so we have another new co-host Please give me your pick and bio at the break. (laughs) (laughs) This is Eric Gasol. We're going to take a little break ourselves. Stay tuned for more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salter, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. And Dominique, where else can you find us? YouTube. I like YouTube. Instagram, Facebook, and the internet. Oh, yeah, Twitter and the internet at teensportsradio.com <laughs> Okay, wow. You can hit that high note in 2016. That's nice. Alright, so what we're going to be doing uh, first guest in the house right now put your hands together. We've got Sabrina. Sabrina, it's really, I only call you by you, so I only know you by Sabrina. What is your last name? Story. Story. Is that easy? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, we, happen to, we, have, we have a gentleman here who produces his own show. Tell me, your, tell me your story, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, amen. <laughs> nah, amen? No. Yeah. Just tell me. Okay, your, what do you want to know? He doesn't have a mic, so he can't say anything. Okay, now you have a mic. Yes. Tell me your story. New yeah. paradigms for a new world. Nice. Looking for those new ways of living. 
That's it. And providing choices and knowledge of those choices to help make your dreams come true. So it's like conscious shifting 2016. That's it. Yo. Yeah. Like it. Sounds great. All right. Well, you I'm definitely on board. are shifting my consciousness, okay, with all the body work that you've done for me and fixing a few little minor aches and pains that you get when you're over 50. Four. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's let's talk to these, these athletes, these kids, because I've always been blessed having a mom that was a massage therapist mm-hmm. and an esthetician. So I've always been... Um, very blessed to be able to get body work done. I mean, started when I was 18, 19 years old. So why don't we share a little bit about you, who you are, how long you've been in the business, and then we could talk about the importance of um, body work for our kids, for our athletes and our teens. Okay, I am Sabrina Story. I've been in body work, I believe, all my life. I started doing body work my parents had a, a massage therapist come in when she was when we were very young children and had us start uh, learning how to massage feet and body parts and we massaged our parents all the way up till we were in our eight, you know teens and 20s and then went to massage school so my whole family was a massage family and I noticed that we were always putting each other on the ground stretching each other and moving and I just thought all families did that <laughs> found out later that they didn't all <laughs> families should <laughs> they it's should really help but it was very important to be moving the body I believe you if you don't move it you lose it you do lose your flexibility and strength and length and that's what I want to try to get back in to everybody's and body she said length so you can't see this but she just like stared at me you know I'm watching <laughs> lie to me it's it's a, it's on Netflix it's great and it's like watching those micro expressions so when you stick your when you bold your eyes out when you say lengthen to me I get that clearly I am on the roller don't worry <laughs> okay well um, and I believe everybody at every stage of life needs to be working with massage or working self massage either with rolling or stretching or helping each other out and teens especially and when the teens are still growing when they're in, in high school and they need to as they're still building bones and growing so the massage really helps the circulation and the move removing lactic acid and and um, just getting the performance will go up way up um, with adding massage into their routine so. You know, I, I read a um, with the recent cuts that we've been having here in Santa Barbara, and they were thinking about getting rid of the trainers, okay, mm-hmm. which is just absurd. And what the quote that was in the paper was, you know, the gentleman who was quoting it was saying that, you know, when you know we grew up, we didn't have trainers. You know what I mean? Like, why do we need trainers now? And the funny thing is, is like, yeah, well, we started sports when we were in seventh grade. I mean, these kids today are starting when they're like two. Okay, mm-hmm. I started my kids when they were like four. So not to have a trainer, you know, on site and then, you know, that knows enough about the body to be mm-hmm. able to, you know, and I think it's like the first um, something bad happens and you get that person with experience. I mean, you the you feel you're not in a safe position when something happens to you. And then to remove a trainer is just rid- ridiculous because that's the closest that you have somebody that actually understands the body. It makes you feel safe again. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? Right. I I agree fully about that. I have a bachelor's degree in biology, and I went to radiography school and imaging and everything. And I still go back to massage because massage is like a fundamental thing. And with training and everything, knowing the body and knowing how everything works, you can really help everybody around you, yourself and everybody, um, to have that knowledge to share and um, keep everybody going, keep, you know, up to... (laughs) Up to understanding, you know, um, you know all about different systems in your body and how everything works together. And Can you explain you why it is that massaging your hands and your feet actually makes your whole body feel better? Well, there's uh, reflex reflexology. Foot reflexology is um, one of the one of the classes I've taken at at the massage school here, Body Therapy Institute, and. Um, and it, your hands and your feet have a lot of pressure points and uh, all kinds of acupressure points, but it's also a map of your whole body. So really, when you get your, all your feet massaged and your hands massaged, you're doing the whole body a favor. You're 
getting more energy and circulation into every body and organ reflex that it's you It's kind have. of funny because she was squeezing my hand and I went, yikes! I mean, it really hurt. I'm like, what is that? And she goes, it's your kidney. I go, is it in failure? <laughs> because <laughs> it hurts so bad. I mean, honestly, I almost had to run through the bathroom. I'm just saying. That, was, yeah. that would be a kidney reflex. <laughs> I, I can't really say it's your kidney in your hand, but <laughs> there is a uh, representation there. So This room is filled with athletes right now. It, it, have any of you had that experience where maybe you hurt something on your body and your hand or your feet have ached? A few of you? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's interesting to notice. Yeah. So I, re- I recommend self-massage on your hands and your feet. If your body is aching, go ahead and uh, feel every part, you know, the... Uh, I've, I've always had a question. Is there sure. any way you can mess up something by massaging yourself? Like, I don't know. Um, it's with any athletic type thing. If you overextend or are pushing too hard, you, you can... So you could. You could um, if you're... Some people don't realize what massage is, and it's, you know, the healthy <laughs> parameters of moving, moving uh, the muscles and everything. But mm-hmm. if you're trying to bend it and it's really really hurting you know and i think that that's a little bit too much but just getting it so it's moving again it's more about looking at the density of an area and then dissipating that density so it's it's um the flow of energy is moving like, in it, the area if it's really really painful can that still be normal like if a massage is really painful it, it can be if it's with the right person and you're you're yeah, working yeah, to move it through, <laughs> yeah, this is a specialist. Yeah, it's, let me it's tell okay. you, she really teaches you how to use the breathing. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and I have two kids and I failed it both times, but I'm learning it really well now. <laughs> Wait, I okay. thought we were talking about massaging. We are. Labor. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, you need to breathe. Okay, okay. and then labor, you, you need, to, need breathe to breathe too. And if you fail that breathing, let me tell you. How okay. often should a teenager athlete be getting a massage to be effective and? Um, uh, effectively, it depends on how much they're training. If there's the intensity of the training, then it's, you know, th- every three days to every week, oh, really? you know. But um, you notice that Olympic athletes have uh, massage therapist trainers on hand and they are constantly warming them up and, you know, getting them going. They have a po- pre and post massage Mm -hmm. and so I would recommend I mean if there is ever if you ever can get a massage therapist to be you know on your team you'll notice a difference in your performance and your recovery time. Does it help Um, prevent injury? Yeah it helps prevent injury because the muscles are are warmed up and they've been able to elongate and get the lactic acid out and so they're they're more flexible and pliable and they'll be less um uh, available for injury they'll be they'll be set up to be stronger because they're more flexible so if a coach said yeah but my boys are stretching so what would be the answer to that um, are they breathing too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. Yeah, it's you know, true. There's there's stretching, right. and there then there's you know the yoga like yoga stretching and longer stretching is very important. So how are they stretching? That's the question I'd ask them. How are they stretching? Nice. Well, I mean, the biggest thing is to experiment, and it's all about being in your body, because most of the time when I've been injured in a sport, it's because I went into my mental game, and I got disconnected from my body, and I didn't realize that I was trying to make my body do something it wasn't wanting to do. Uh, let me say this. There has been a lot of young people that have been coming to me. Um, I work at Massage Envy and the Body Therapy, and a lot of young athletes come to me, and they're starting to do their workouts cold, and they injure themselves cold from the from the get-go. And they are not warming up the big muscles before the small muscles. They're going in cold, and then they pull, they re- tear their muscles. So that's is, something, is that something you have to think about. work with you that you could give them... Yeah, you have to, right, and you have to learn some stretching routines or, you know, or certain areas. I usually work with people in stretching certain areas and then helping them to get them stronger, lengthen more and relax more. So then they then they have less, they're less, um, they're less set up for an injury 
and if um, maybe we could get you out cold. there to talk to a couple of teams that would be really good I already know yeah. three or four coaches oh, uh, that would definitely yeah, yeah and I, I can even try to get the body therapy institute the students to maybe do something where they can get hours or something with co- you know their massage hours for teams would be perfect well there you go be. look at all these boys <laughs> exactly. massages on D-Sports Radio <laughs> this is killing me <laughs> what are you going to do we got to that's just because of Kristen that's right that's right it's all, it's all because of her. <laughs> all right. Um, so, what's your contact information? Massage Envy. Do you have a um, uh, number there, or is it? Is yeah, it? I can, you can have my phone number. I'd okay. I'd be fine. My phone number is eight zero five two eight zero one seven zero nine. Anyone can call me that has any questions, right. or we can set something up, or, and I can talk to the powers that be to get something going. If And I'm standing at, if anybody wants to know where she is, she's at my house every Thursday at 2.30. Okay. <laughs> okay. And if you hear any yelling, okay, it's just honestly, don't worry. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> because a lot of breathing comes after that. Okay. But we're almost there, right? Am I, who's, who's improving? I'm improving. You are improving. I am like, lengthening. Yeah, every time. She goes, I, every well, time. Two weeks ago, she said, I found your neck. Oh, you know. <laughs> you know, with all the hunching. Okay. Um, let's take a break. Hey? All right. We've got the Baba sign. This is Erica Sold of the Queen of Teen. It's go time. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Eric Assault of the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. Dominique, where else can we find us? I like the internet, teensportsradio.com. The webpage is getting revised. I, it's beautiful, uh-huh. really user friendly. Um, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, and Twitter. That is so cool. We have automatic Twitter feed. That's we have it so all. Modern. Yeah, we have it all. Teen Sports Radio. Okay. Dot com. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, it's just nice. It's just twenty sixteen. It's really kicking up a storm, as they say. Um, Kristen's. How do you like being a co-host? And, you, and look at it. Oh, I like I'm, it how I'm you just came in, in and yes. you and you parked <laughs> yourself right next to the producer. Yes, I, I like not that. To get in his way this here. This is like though. your this seat right there. The magic moment it's here. It's great. We used to have uh, <laughs> Dr. Andrea Seifert used to have that seat, and I actually for about a year, right, D, nobody could sit in that seat. Oh. so I didn't let anybody sit in that seat because okay. that was her seat. So I, okay. I just had this, you know, because well, I'm, I'm multiple in. personalities. <laughs> so I pretended she was there, <laughs> you know, because this is radio, nobody could see me anyway. So, but now you're in that seat, so that's just amazing. Do you feel? Good. I do. I feel yeah, good. Thank it's you. It's really nice. Thank you. Okay. Happy so, to be here. And I love the picture that you provided. Awesome. And I like the bio. <laughs> okay. It's wonderful. And I didn't have to <laughs> tell you to shorten it. It was just the perfect size. Thank you. That's because you're a college coach. I, I am a college it's, coach. I, it's, it's wonderful. One of my main jobs is getting people to shorten it up. <laughs> <laughs> Get awesome. to the point. It's yeah. nice. It's awesome. Okay. So just really fast, mm-hmm. you know, you fill the house here with six guests. But right now, and Dee, help me. What day is today? Nineteenth, January nineteenth. January January nineteenth. Where should I mean? Let's go freshmen up to seniors. Like, what do we need to be talking? Because it's it's. I know we were supposed to have somebody from Westmont here today because mm-hmm. that's. I think they they're uh, done in February, right? As yeah, far as February. applying, yeah. Okay, so talk to me. Yeah, it's transition time right now in January. Um, it, for if you're a freshman right now, by now you know if you need to get some help or not, and you know you'll hear that freshman year doesn't matter and things like that. And for the most part, it's an exploratory year. But if you're if you're slipping a little bit, get get the help that you need so that you're on track before you start your sophomore year. Um, If you're a sophomore right now, my main message to you is just don't burn out out. Sophomore year is a little bit of a grind. Um, it's neither here nor there, and the year matters a lot. Um, so just stick with it. For juniors, uh, January 23rd, so next week, is the last old SAT that you can take. Um, if you haven't already signed up for it, don't bother. Just start working on for the new SAT, and hopefully by the end of your junior year, you'll finish your whole testing cycle. So take that SAT, take the ACT, take what you need to, so you can see where you are and be done. So that senior year, you can hit the ground running when it's time to start doing applications. Um, Junior year, January is go time. That's a year from now. You will be completed and finished with your college applications. So in one year from now, it'll be done, that process. So 
this next year from now on really matters for you. For seniors, woo, congratulations. You have just finished a crazy marathon of applications that started in October. The season now for applications is so many months long. I just, when seniors are done, by the time they're done, they have been through so much. So seniors, way to go. Now you can relax and just wait for those acceptance letters to come in and give really careful thought to what is a good fit for you beyond just the name of the college or where it is. Is it really where you want to be? And um, get on your parents about filling out the FAFSA. They need to do that before the tax season is over. Get on I was asked this question every year because my my sons were notorious in each of their senior years to want to drop something. No, because they, they got in. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Like, <laughs> don't oh, do mom, it. I don't need that no. classy. So, so if you're a senior, I mean, there's no dropping. There's no dropping. Okay. You can check gotcha. with your admissions officers right. and see if you can. I mean, if a class isn't offered anymore, if something's right. been shuffled around, um, you really need to get approval ahead of time mm-hmm. that it's okay to make those changes. And usually, if it's you know a comparable course, you're switching out an AP for an AP or an elective for an elective, it's usually fine, but they do need to know ahead of time. Those acceptances are uh, contracts, and if you're not fulfilling your end, they they can rescind their acceptances. And what's the the thought on um, retaking your college, ex- ent- you know, the SATs and APs. Mm-hmm. Um, if you like, you know, you, you know, my little Johnny had a cold <laughs> and just tanked it. Okay, yes. so obviously you have to take it again. Yes, but if you if you got a really good score, mm-hmm. I mean, and I don't because they changed it, so I don't even know what the numbers are anymore. So if you're right up there, well, they're changing it back to the old numbers now. Are they really? Yes, they are. So it, it, yes, it'll be it'll be back out of sixteen hundred again. Se- so it okay, won't be, so us say, older people will be able to translate what it. that means. Okay, there yeah. you go. So say yeah. you go, so just what, say old school numbers so if they go back to old school and say you got I don't know 1350 Mm -hmm. is it worth it because that's a darn good score. It's a darn good right. score. So yes. is it worth to go? Are you going to get that much more money, or is it worth to take it again? Well, I, I like to advise people to take both the SAT and the ACT, okay. even if they've taken the practice ones and there's some recommendation for which one they perform better on. Okay. Still, just take one of each, and then there are equivalency tables to tell which score actually is a better performance, right. and then focus on that test, and right. maybe take it a second time, definitely with prep. Like, don't just go in twice cold and take it. If you're not going to do any further preparation or anything new, then you're sort of hurting yourself a little bit if you keep repeating Mm -hmm. a score. But if you're having improvement and you think you can still keep improving, then no more than three times for Mm -hmm. a test. It just, colleges, it starts to look a little like you're spending all of your time working the test instead of trying to learn material and exploring new things. I'm really Um, happy that you heard today because I actually had a parent um, send an email and the email was a question and I was excited oh well, my mom was like my third question you know it's the queen um, <laughs> so I, I said I'm going to have to refer to Kristen because I have no idea oh, the I'll answer. send people to send uh, questions you your go. way so this is a good question <laughs> um, so if you know that your child is going to go to City College yes and the you know it's above average smart so mm-hmm. in their senior year would you say push it, all the AP classes down the child's throat even though you don't technically need it because you're going to city college? Absolutely or? not. Right, okay. No, I would say, first of all, don't I would... take all the AP classes. You don't have to. Right. But I would say they're but different... But prepare... See, I said it the mm-hmm. op- I said just preparing... I took them. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I knew I wasn't going to go into a big school, but I thought it prepared me. Yes. So here's Oops. here's the okay. answer. Okay. There are students who enjoy being as challenged as possible. That's what they're looking for, and that's where they want to be. So if they're in a zone that that is an enjoyable process for them, right. and th- those are the peers they want to be with and that's the work they want to be doing, Mm -hmm. take it. Take it whether it counts, whether it doesn't count, whether Mm -hmm. it works at City College or not. Take it. It's okay. it's where you want to be. Right. But if you're struggling, 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 and it's so hard now, the schools have only given options of either AP track mm-hmm. or college prep track. That's right. So there's no honors now. Right. So th- if you're facing a difficult decision of I'm taking five APs and this is grinding me down and I'm really only enjoying two of them mm-hmm. or three of them, let the other ones go. Okay, and, gotcha. and you can take them at a different level. So it's gotcha. really an enjoyment of life. All right. Christian! Woo! Right. <laughs> You killed it! I have liking this whole thing. I love it, and I love the picture too. Really oh. nice. now everybody's gonna have to go and look at the picture. Uh, okay. All right, we have a couple of minutes. Why don't you introduce your first guest? Oh yes. Okay. So my first guest is Ryan Eckler. He Woo! Is- Ryan, Ryan Eckler is in the house. Santa Barbara High student plays football. He's also a student teacher. Um, oh. Should I introduce all? Th- oh sure. Why do you okay. go all three boys? It's and great. then. 
Colton Takis is a football player also. Colton, and, uh-huh. thank you for being yep. here today, guys. And he's um, in the Mad Academy, and he m- may have time to talk a little bit about their service trips to Perfect. Mexico. I mm-hmm. love that. And then Grant Feldman. Who, Grant. Uh-huh. He looks like a Grant. <laughs> he does look like a Grant. And uh, Grant is a baseball player, and he's also a student mentor at Santa Barbara. Nice. Hi. All right. Hey, look, know what we're going to do? Because we just <laughs> I got smushed out. So that means it's go time. But we're going to get all, to all these three, and then we have... Three more lovely ladies. So let's do that after the break. All right. right. It's go time. It's Erica Salda, the Queen of Teal. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday, 9 a.m. Outstanding. Okay, let's get to it. First, let's let's go through each. Um, of our guests and get your, you know, the, you know, your astrological sign, your favorite color, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Kristen. Okay. Um, well, you know, at the break, Ryan um, gave me a correction about the high school that they go to is actually the Santa Barbara High School. It's not awesome. Nice. Oh, I like so. <laughs> it's the only high school. The only high school in Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> we want to we want to know your sport and why you chose your sport and what grade you're in. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. I'm Ryan Eckler. I'm a football player at Santa Barbara High. Um, I don't, I've just always wanted to play football since I was little and started in like sixth grade, and I just love to get to hit people. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's profound. <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually understand it because I do Krav Maga, so I get it. Uh, oh, that's nice. Laura loves football. <laughs> Laura knows everything about the sport, right, Laura? Of course. I mean, I just yell when everyone else yells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan, what position do you play? I'm an outside linebacker. Ooh, you really like to hit people. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, your season? Oh, um, so our last season was pretty terrible. Uh See, I didn't want to even bring it up, so I'd like you to Because <laughs> I know it's a great school, the Santa Barbara. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're going to be walking it up, you've got to you walk. Yeah, Go ahead. I was on the JV team this year, and we had a really, really bad year. We went like three and seven. But um, varsity, on the other hand, had a pretty decent season, went six and four. Shout out San Marcos, 38 to zero. 37 uh, to zero. 37 to zero, correction. Um, <laughs> Still two zero, though. <laughs> nice. We had a, they had the girl on the team. Yes, we did. Blue and I was because uh, she was actually interviewed here on this show mm-hmm. with a couple oh, yeah. of the players. Yeah, it was awesome. So how'd that really go down? Did, as a JV player, you saying, "Oh boy, I'm glad I, you know I'm not on varsity and have a girl on my no, team." No, actually, or, I wish we had a girl on our team because Aliyah was a hell of a kicker, and we didn't yeah. have a kicker. So oh, they, she wouldn't drop down for you guys. No, no. Oh, that was it. Nice of her, actually. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, she's playing. She's. Uh, it takes a very special. I mean, I know she's extreme. She's go what NC. She went to. She's, North Carolina? She's only a junior right now, I think. And oh. She got offered to the University of North Carolina as a sophomore, I believe. Nice. I just Fantastic. saw her today. Oh, actually. yeah? Yeah, and I, I I was asking her if she would like to come on the show, but she has a soccer game today. Yeah. So oh, there you go. her multiple sports. So. Yeah, I know. It's, it's good for her. Okay, so next year, so you're, what's, your, what's your goal? you got to put on, what, 20 pounds? What? Yeah, um, I'm like 185 right now, and what? I want to try to bypass a hunt. Bypass two hundred, maybe nice. get to like two ten. Okay, do you you know we have a, um, a relationship with Superior Fitness and Wellness, mm-hmm. and um, I'll give it to Kristen because I have gift certificates. Mm-hmm. So it's a great um, gym to work out. My kids were raised there. Yeah, we and have kids on our team right now that go there. Yeah, really. So let me take care of you on that. I'll take care of all three of you boys. Sweet. All right. Yeah. No. No problem. Dustin, he owes me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah, let's put a hand for Dustin. Which you guys walk in? That's right, with the gift certificates. <laughs> I love gift certificates. Just wave them up. I'll sign his name. No, don't worry. They're good. I promise. <laughs> All right, so do you want to play football in, in uh, college, Ryan? Um, yeah, I would like to, but I'm not overly concerned about playing football in college. I kind of want to use football to try to get to college, to like a good college. But, I mean, I would rather go to a good college and have to pay for the whole thing and go to somewhere else where I could play football but wouldn't get as good right. of an education. Right, and Kristen was saying, what else do you do at Santa Barbara High? Oh, I'm a student teacher, so we have nice. this new thing called Seminar this year where it's like a 
semi block schedule like those pueblos has okay and so in seminar most people will get a study hall and instead i like teach kids that have d's and f's and are trying to bring their grades up so what's your favorite subject to to uh coach on uh english i'm good at english and world history are my strengths that's, that sounds nice santa barbara high school they change like you can choose whatever you want to teach depending on the day no, I'm. I'm. You're signed pretty, up for those. I'm classes. pretty much English, but I like somehow got selected to be the like roamer guy that like goes around, make sure all the teachers are doing their job and the <laughs> students are learning. So I'm just nice. making sure everything. That's works awesome! Out. I love that. That's that fun. is that is fun. Cool. All right. So uh, you want to give any shout outs to any of your um, JV brothers on the football team? Uh, Natani Jotty and Dallas Reddick are. You guys, uh, that's all right. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Who do you have to your left? Uh, the Colton Takis. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. With a capital T. Oh, I love that. All right. Get up on the mic. Okay. So you're also a junior. Yes, I'm a junior. You're, I, see, you're a big junior. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> so you football. Yep. Okay. And you position, you play what? Play defensive end. Not the D end. Oh, For the varsity nice. football team at Santa so High like School. like to hit people too. <laughs> yeah, that's been a passion of mine since about fifth grade. <laughs> Seriously. Well, you can. Yeah. So um, you got another year. So what's your goals? You, do you want to get want to get bigger, or what do you want yeah, to do? I yeah, I would like to be bigger. I'm about 220 right now. Trying to get to about 240. Nice. So I could really crack some heads out there. Oh, there you go. And so but no, next no, year, as heads. you're <laughs> coming into your senior heads. year, I think you're going to have a really good team next year, right? I yeah. mean, your team should be really good next year, We're seriously. Awesome. I mean, there's, there's, pretty, there's nothing but ourselves in the way of us getting a playoffs next year. Right. Okay. The goal is winning CIF. All right. Nice. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. All right. So, like, this gonna, it's kind of like almost starting now, right? Season's over. Now you got to yeah. start, you know. How did you like when Sabrina was here? How, how did that, uh, you know, as far as your training goes and the body work that you need, can you, does that make sense to you guys that you need something like that? Or what? Yeah, what do you, it does. Because I don't want to go out on a limb and make that happen if this isn't oh, something you really uh, want. No. If it's something that you really want, because, you know, my kids graduated from Bishop, so I can go there tomorrow. You feel me? <laughs> got it, got okay, it. But I, I like, it. well, I'm just saying. I, I can put it any place I want. But if you really, because I really do love Santa Barbara High School, and I'm always into firsties, and that was the first school. So, you know, and I really do like the school. And Joe, Bishop graduate, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. He was. Okay. I mean, let's. does he say it? The channel with? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that. that <laughs> She's very funny. That's why I like this show. She's very quick. Everybody gets to be funny. Um, so, yeah, so seriously, do, when you have trainers, do they make you do everything yourself because, you know, you have that good touch, bad touch rule or what? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. I always get worried about that, you know, this whole body work thing. But it is. So it is supposed to. It's. You know, it, explain it, Dee. I mean, you know the whole thing about it. Well, it, the nice thing about a massage and having a partner do a stretch is that you get a chance to relax and listen to your body. And the lengthening of the muscles is just as important as the strengthening of the muscles. And you have to be really qu- careful when you pick your partner because I'm having this little injury right now in my hip because of the partner that I chose to help lengthen that muscle, okay, kind of over it, right, Dee? So, um, <laughs> okay. so when you do the stretching partner okay and you're over 50 all right you want to get somebody that um you know isn't like this you know she's a yoga person you know what i'm saying so she's used to seeing an ankle you know go way up there not <laughs> yeah. like you know stop stop <laughs> did you <laughs> that means stop you oh, don't yeah. hear that crack i mean i can okay. barely i can't touch my toes myself so i understand yeah. so you get what i'm saying you know? yeah. oh my god it only gets worse um so so let's do that then okay i promise we'll definitely yeah, do that'd that be awesome. you guys. that'd be great all right cool all right i like that all right, so who do you have to your look at your look at you? He wants he wants the microphone. He looks so cute. <laughs> this is my <laughs> my good bud. Yeah. G to the Rant Feldman. That is Grant <laughs> Feldman. <laughs> Sporting the dons, yeah. You yeah. got all dressed up to get here. I love that. Yeah. All right. Tell us about yourself. Well, I play I, I play baseball for the Santa Barbara Dons, and I'm a junior there. Nice. What position? Uh, I'm an outfielder. Good. What's your <laughs> aspiration for this year? Um, what I really want to do is I want to become better mentally for the game. 
learn how to like um, better prepare my mind before each at, at bat because it's a really mental uh, sport more than most sports really and you just have to really prepare yourself to for each situation like if you um, say you strike out or boot a ball it's really hard to get it out of your mind so you just gotta learn to be better and reset your mind so have you attempted any meditation not really i just have a process that i usually do after nice. i do something bad i usually take a deep breath and close my eyes and visualize doing better the next time around perfect That's kind of meditating That's yeah um, would i like, you like it. to play in college like i would but i'm not gonna really like have it stop me from going to a college that won't offer me to play baseball i want to oh. get there more for academic reasons than athletic Nice. Okay. And you've got some extracurricular things you do too, right? Yeah, I'm a teacher for the PASS program, which helps students bring up their grades during this period called seminar at Santa Barbara High School. And what we really do is, it's like free tutoring for the kids in a designated work area so they can bring up their grades and hopefully get into better colleges. So how, like for you two guys who do, do this, um, how is the experience for you? Because I'm doing the same thing at DP, but sometimes the kids just like don't want to hear about it. Like but, they, they're there, but not because they want to be there. Yeah, I actually have a lot of kids who are really trying to raise up their grades and are pretty dedicated to doing so. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, from my experience... The kids, for the most part, will actually do work in seminar, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are actually smart, intelligent kids. They're just lazy, mm -hmm. and so they don't get their work done, but they're trying at least, so we'll see what happens. Nice. Well, listen, we got to take another break because we got three beautiful ladies in the quiet room, so Colt and Ryan and Grant, put your hands together. <laughs> Thank you so much. Get with me after the show, or I'll give Kristen those discounts on uh, Superior Fitness Wellness, those memberships I'll take care of you, and maybe we can make that um, massage therapy happen for you, okay? This is Eric Assault of the Queen of Team. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back. And this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the queen of teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. All right. We got three lovely ladies from the San Marcos High School. <laughs> yeah. Introduce them, Laura. So we have Sophia Kavanis. Woo-hoo-hoo. Uh, ah, yeah. Kayla Cleary. All right. Cross country. And Alex Husland. More cross country. I love it. Well, ladies, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. How does it feel like next to be these three stud muffins from Santa Barbara High, from the Santa Barbara High? We can <laughs> take them. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah they're they're going down. down. Yeah. You can outrun them, that's for sure, right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, yeah, we've actually, we both some track and field pictures on the site, so check it out. But I want new new fresh ones so make sure you pass on some um pics to us we'd love that i'd love yeah. girls track um let's do this we have a couple of minutes here let's get together so let's talk sophia first yes all right hey thank you for being here today no problem all right so tell me. us about yourself um well i do track for san marcos nice. um i'm a sophomore I ran last year the 100 and the 200 in long jump. Nice. And this year I'm going to do the two and the four. All right. The so you want to you want to run in college, or are you just doing this just get you know to stay in shape? Um, I would love to run in college. Yeah. It just depends on if uh, the college is a good track program or right. you know. Fantastic. Are you in, involved in any other curricular activities? Um, me and Kayla, we actually have a club at San Marcos called nice. Harmony to Health, oh. um, where we sing for people for at retirement homes, at hospital, wow. and um, preschools, and the kids that do it get community service. Super. So. How long have you been doing that? Uh, this is our first year. We just set it up. Great, because guess what? You're going to sing a song at the, to close the show. <laughs> All right, no pressure. All right, Sophia, get up. <laughs> Oh, not I mean I mean get up. I said get down. Did I say get down? I meant Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, you're up. Oh, okay. What am I saying? We only have one mic. We've got all these people. Okay, Kayla, talk to me. Hi. <laughs> so can Sophia sing? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Just was, you know, it's always nice to ask the other person. So what? Because you, you know, I can't say. Can you? Can you sing? Um, I'm, she can see. Well, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Because you guys are sisters. Okay. So, how's the track program over at San Marcos? 
It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm really excited for uh, this season. Yeah. So you're going to kill it? You're going to beat Hopefully, the yeah. Santa Barbara? I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's still not Santa Barbara. <laughs> they're, they're all, I like the girls just roll their eyes because you know they're all that you know, too much have, yeah people from Santa Barbara hi, either the way. Yeah, not worth it <laughs> you want to kill the energy there you go alright so uh, why track I mean there's so many sports you could do is it something that you just always you know actually no um, I was going to do swimming mm-hmm. um, but a friend of mine over the summer before freshman year was like, oh, you should come to cross country practice, and um, I went, and then ever since then, I just really enjoyed running more. Sweet, yeah, and it's nice because you have good coaching staff over there too. Yeah, and then who else do we have? We have Alex. Woo! Woo! So San Marcos, you like the San Marcos? Uh, the, the San Marcos is a pretty great school. I've been <laughs> enjoying my time there. Yeah, and uh, what grade are you in? I am a sophomore. Oh, <laughs> well, that's that's competition. So okay. <laughs> that's nice. So what else do you do at school besides the cross country? Oh, well, I try to do a lot. Um, I've been enrolled with lots of AP classes. I try to keep my curriculum interesting. Um, I am the president of a club called Deer Talks. It's about, it's some similar to TED Talks, and it's about bringing um, motivational speakers into students and having them talk and share their life stories. Um it's a really great club. I would recommend um, joining. If you're a San Marcos student listening, come to Deer Talks. Uh, nice. It's Wednesdays. Talks to me. Nice. Um, what was no, the we're going to do? We're going to just, because i got to hear him sing, because we only have a little bit left. Oh, sorry. Ladies, knock out something, and I'm going to invite you back next week if you can come, okay? <laughs> Lady, running down to the riptide, taken away to the dark side. I want to be your left-hand man. Woo! We're, we're out of time. This is Erica Salda. God bless Santa Barbara. Please tune in next week. <laughs>